G'day guys, behind me I've got a set of our Flexball Marine electronic throttle controls. So these Flexball electronic throttle controls are suitable for any make or model of marine engine and marine gearbox. Doesn't matter FPT, Doosan, Cat, Cummins, Scania, Yanmar, Volvo, you name it, these will fit. Gearboxes, ZF, Twin Disc, DI Industrial, doesn't matter. We have a system that will work for every single arrangement in every single boat. Let me show you through this set here. So this is our display model. Just gives you a bit of an idea on how they operate. So you can see here we have two actuator boxes, one for this particular port engine in this fake boat we've got here, and then a starboard actuator box. Each box has two levers. This lever on the left controls the, end, the throttle from the idle position all the way up to full throttle, and the right hand lever controls your three positions for your gearbox. So this setup here is basically suitable for any engine which has got a mechanical throttle, be it on the side of a mechanical fuel pump or a potentiometer, or alter and also it has a mechanical gearbox selection. So you've got your three positions, neutral, forward and reverse. So all of these, these two posts here for your throttling gear are completely adjustable um, to suit whatever distance it needs to travel for throttle and also for gears. With this setup here we've got the twin lever arrangement which is suitable for our fake twin engine installation in a vessel and this one here we set up with two throttle stations. The main as you normally see in your saloon and of course the second station up on the flybridge. So these throttles here, they're a stainless steel build, extremely suitable for harsh weather conditions. They also come with a black cover which fits over the top of the, of the throttles when they're not in use. So when you first turn them on, you've got two green lights which represents that the port engine's in neutral and the starboard engine's in neutral. What we can do is we can take command. Now please excuse this slight uh, bit of plastic cover over the top as this is still a new unit here. So what this means is we've taken command in the saloon on the main station, which means if I grab the port lever and we've got this yellow light flashing, you see we click into gear but nothing will happen, which is good because we're in warm-up mode, which means only the throttle will work and respond. So you can see how smooth the flexible throttle system responds to your touch on the lever. If we push the yellow button again to turn it off, turn off the warm-up mode, what you'll see now is I click it into gear, you'll see the gearbox go into forward, and then the throttle will work from there. And this is the same if I come back into the neutral position and then go into reverse position as well. The same works across onto the starboard side engine as well. So if you can just see me move the lever here, you'll see the gear move, and then of course the throttle will move accordingly to wherever we have the lever. So the great thing is, if we in a real world, let's say for example we click, we're in gear, and we're at, you know, say three-quarter throttle, and we're running along at three-quarter throttle, you can see the green lights are out, meaning that we are in gear, and this is the throttle that has co command at this stage. So if we grabbed the other command or someone was upstairs and they moved it, absolutely nothing would happen. Now, although in saying that, if you are clever, what you can do is you can move those throttle levers forward to the point where they're matching in position to the other throttle and therefore you're still moving along in the water and you can hold down the command and you can see command is transferred from the main station up to the flybridge station um, and therefore you've only got control here on this one here and that's all. You've also got the ability to hold down the two buttons here which turns the yellow light on which is effectively a sink. So what that means is that the one lever, the right hand lever, will do both the starboard and the port actuator boxes together. So if I just kind of zoom out a bit, click it forward into gear, it controls both engines accordingly. So nice and simple, that's the whole point of these flexible controls. They've also got an optional uh, remote handheld control which is suitable for all docking applications. It controls the gear mo gearbox movement in both forward and reverse directions. You've also got options for stern thruster, bow thruster, and your anchor winch control as well. So this is a mechanical setup for any flex ball. And this just over here is another example of the flex ball actuator box, but this one is set up to have electronic control on the gearbox. So electronic solenoids in your gearboxes and also electronic throttles. So Flexball can talk to any arrangement of engine and gearbox, be it mechanical or electronic. 
and these things are suitable for use from 9 to 32 volt. So they're a multi-volt system suitable for any application. Thanks for watching. Give us a call if you'd like a set.